anyone can practice some non-violence, even soldiers. Some army generals, for example, conduct their operations in ways that avoid killing innocent people. This is a kind of non-violence. To help soldiers move in the non-violent direction, we have to be in touch with them. If we divide reality into two camps, the violent and the non-violent, and stand in one camp while attacking the other, the world will never have peace. We will always blame and condemn those we feel are responsible for wars and social injustice without recognizing the degree of violence in ourselves. We must work on ourselves and also with those we condemn if we want to have a real impact. Our Tiknat Han Title Stop blaming others and start working on yourself for peace. Description This quote emphasizes the importance of self-reflection and understanding before trying to solve the world's problems. Modern translation To achieve peace, we need to recognize our own biases and work on our own flaws rather than just blaming others for conflict. Engaging Question How can you start to recognize the violence within yourself and take steps towards non-violence? Explanation This quote suggests that true peace starts within ourselves. We can't truly create a peaceful world if we're constantly pointing fingers and blaming others for violence and injustice. Instead, we need to acknowledge the violence that exists within ourselves, both physically and emotionally, and take steps to address it. Elaboration Epictetus, the Stoic philosopher, famously said, it is not events themselves that disturb people, but their judgments about those events. Similarly, Tishnat Han highlights how our perception of the world colors our actions. We create divisions in our minds between good and bad, right and wrong, violent and nonviolent. However, by focusing on self-improvement and understanding, we can bridge these divides and create a more peaceful world. This internal shift is essential because, as the Buddha taught, hatred does not cease by hatred, but only by love. This is the eternal law. By focusing on compassion and understanding, we can begin to see the world with more clarity and compassion. Real World Example The powerful film Schindler's List poignantly demonstrates the impact of one individual's choice for nonviolence. Oskar Schindler, a German businessman, chose to defy Nazi ideology and risked his life to save hundreds of Jewish refugees during the Holocaust. His actions exemplify the power of individual choice and the potential for even those involved in violence to choose a different path. By making the conscious decision to practice non-violence and empathy, Schindler made a profound impact on the lives of those around him. Just like Schindler, we too can choose to practice non-violence in our own lives, starting with our own thoughts and actions.